Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use a resistance band to help improve and strengthen your fundamental Wing Chun techniques. Before you do any type of resistance training, I highly recommend you warm up. One quick way to warm up is with a skipping rope. You can do one round of three minutes. If you are new to skipping rope, I recommend you start off with basic steps. The steps that I like to work on and I teach my students, it's nothing fancy, but it's very effective. It's just basically single step or single bounce on each foot. So you go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I like to do 10 seconds for each step. The second step is double bounce. Double, 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 double. The third one is the kick, 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 kick. And the fourth one, knees up and you go a little bit faster. Like that. So don't forget, if you don't have a skipping rope, you can do it empty hand, same thing, 10 seconds each step for three minutes. I'll show you how it looks like with a skipping rope. So you start off, single beat on each foot, on each leg. You do that for 10 seconds, then you go double. You do 10 seconds of that, then you kick. Once you've done 10 seconds, then you do your knees up. Do that for three minutes, and it's a great way to warm up and get your heart rate up. Once you've done that, then you're ready to basically warm up your upper body just with some arm rotations forward and back. All right, you want to cross. You also want to move your elbows in and out. Twist. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just rushing things a little bit, but of course you can pause it, take your time when you're working out. Next, I'm gonna move on to the actual techniques that I like to do and teach with the resistance band. The resistance band that I like to use is a thin one, right? Not way too much resistance because once again, the type of workout that we're doing is for conditioning, we want to do a lot of volume, a lot of reps. Uh, so we're talking about 20, 25, or even 30 reps, two to three sets, okay? So this one, depending on the brand that you use, this one is basically an extra small in the brand that I use, okay? So depending on the amount of resistance that you require is whether or not you do the first exercise with just the single band or the double. One important thing that you want to remember, whenever you work on these type of exercises, you want to maintain constant tension on your band, okay? So let me demonstrate the first exercise. So you want to keep your arms completely straight, hand level with your shoulders. And then when you pull, you want to contract your back and then release, and then pull again. So it has to be a controlled motion, both on the positive and the negative, right? You don't want to start off one and then kind of have it collapse on you, right? Your posture's off, there's slack on your band, so you want to maintain that tension on your band, right? So as I said before, you want to do about minimum 20 reps per exercise. I'll just do around five for you to see. So we go one, two, three, four, five, like that, okay? There, I'll show you side view. The next exercise, same grip. This time you have one foot in front, one arm, because of your stance, one arm will be leading, okay? Keep your arms straight. You're still going to pull out, but at the same time, you're gonna also push one arm forward and pull the opposite back. So, here.
right? Then same thing, other side. The good thing about the resistance band is that you can adjust the grip to see how much tension you need for the exercise. Okay, moving along. Now we're gonna work on more of an active type of exercise designed for your martial arts training, for your Wing Chun training. So this one, you just have the band behind you. You hold your basic stance and you work on your thrusting punches. Like that. You can work on single, you can do the chain punches, the chase. You can go that way. That's a great exercise to develop that, that power behind your punch. One of my all time favorites is basically you holding the band with one hand. You hold the band with one hand and clench your fist just like a punch. When you're here, you get into almost like a fighting stance. When you're ready to do the actual exercise, you just pop the elbow underneath your fist. So you want the elbow aligned, then what you're going to do is basically punch towards the ceiling. When you punch, you want to lock the arm. So it's gonna be explosive power on the way up and control on the way down, okay? Something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Always remember to exhale every time you execute the technique. Of course, you do it on the other side exactly the same, but just to keep this video short and sweet, I'm just showing you a few reps on just the one side. Next exercise. This time, you step on the band. You hold it with a firm grip. Now, we're gonna focus on the pull. So here, you're not pulling the hand, you're pulling the elbow and the rotation from your shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, we're gonna move on to exercises that you can do using your legs and the band. We move on to the leg exercises. What I love about this training tool is that you can adapt it to your needs and not only are you getting the benefit of the resistance from it, but you also get to work on the actual exercise in full range of motion, very much like the way you would use it in a real situation. Okay, so I've got this punching bag here just to help me with balance. You can use anything to assist you. You can put your hand on the wall and a chair on the table. So what you do here is just basically loop the band around your foot, like so. Then, depending on how flexible you are or how much resistance you need is from where you grab the band. So I'm gonna grab it somewhere from about there. And now, what you do here, you just hold your knee nice and high, toes up, back straight. You fully extend the leg, and then pull your shoulders, like that. So you do the push kick. Holding the band nice and high, so there's no, no give. You hold it here, let the leg and your core do the work. So when you fully extend your leg, you thrust. You do that push kick. Hold it there for a split second and then control on the way back. So that's the first one. Don't forget to work both legs. The second one is very similar, but this time the body posture is different because now we're not doing the front kick, we're doing the side kick. So same principle. Hold it here and extend. Like 
happy. Guys, if you like the content that I'm putting out on these videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give us a like. If you have any comments, leave them below. I'd like to interact with you and uh, I look forward to seeing you on our next videos.